I think uh, you can put it in two or three categories that make it hard. Uh, anytime it was a death of an employee, uh, you know, that was a bad day. That was a sad day. Whether it was uh, on the job uh, death, which there were fortunately very, very few uh, of those, but uh, just normal deaths, death of family members, you know, those were tough, tough days. Um, I never enjoyed uh, having to take personnel actions. Uh, uh, in fact, I always felt like I was the failure if an employee didn't perform to the level that they should have or performed outside the, the uh, uh, circles of uh, administrative uh, being proper in the way things were being conducted. And so I always thought that you know, reflected directly back on, on me, and, and that's tough to look at yourself sometimes. But just going through that process of taking those disciplinary actions, that was, uh, that, that was a tough, tough thing. And then the other thing that comes to mind would be back in some years when um, budgets would get so depleted, we actually had to uh, terminate some employees. Uh, we call it RIF uh, uh, employees, and, and uh, they, they lost their jobs. And, and, you know, that was about as painful as anything to tell an employee that, that uh, I just don't have the funding to continue and, and not only not continue but redirect to another position or anything else. And so did a little bit of, of that along the way and, and uh, you know, we, uh, I guess during my time we ended up having to uh, eliminate the forest products lab and that was, a, I mean, made such a major contribution that that research program made to forestry in not only Texas, but the South in bringing uh, the pulp and paper industry to Texas. Uh, some of the sawmilling practices that uh, brought forestry to the, the South. Uh, the, the research and all that was done in our forest products lab. Uh, so that was good, but uh, we just reached a point where uh, that had just about run its uh, course. And, uh, you know, one of the traditions of state forestry is forest tree nurseries. And uh, we tried to make a go of the Indian Mound Nursery for years and years, decades, trying to sustain that. But uh, the soil was worn out, the facilities were worn out, uh, the demand for trees reached the point that uh, we just couldn't continue that. It was a losing, money losing proposition every year. Plus, uh, there were other sources for, for the trees and, and fitting in with my philosophy to, to let others do it if they can and do it better than we can. So we had to uh, close that operation. So there were a few of those, but uh, I didn't mind so much eliminating the programs, but I sure did hate eliminating good employees that had been faithful to you and there just really wasn't any other place to, to assign. But Fortunately, there were not very many bad days in 42 years.